Welcome to One Mind Zen. Tonight's Dharma talk is given by Briar Hengdahl Windwalker. So I'm going to uh, to share a, a quote and let that settle in. Don't die in the words. That reminded me of a, of a story, as many things do. Long time ago, there was a very strict Zen monastery. And one of the things at the monastery was a vow of silence that everybody took. With one exception, every 10 years, the monks were allowed to go in to interview with the abbot and say just two words. And so a, a young monk joined the monastery and he stayed there for 10 years and he came in for Dukasan and he sat before the abbot. And the master said, okay, you have been here for 10 years. What two words do you have to speak? And the monk said, bed hard. Bowed, got up and left. Another 10 years pass. The monk comes in for Dokasan, sits before the master. The master says, 10 years have passed. What are you two words from your meditations? And the monk said, food stinks. The master said, I see. The monk bowed and went back to his cell. Another 10 years, it's time again for the interview. The monk comes in, sits, bows, and the master says, and what are your two words this time? And the monk says, I quit. The master says, well, I'm not surprised. All you ever do is complain. So don't die in the words. I encountered that in uh, in a commentary in the Blue Cliff, Blue Cliff record. I was I was reading through some of the uh, the cases, eighty seven and eighty eight. Yun Min talking about sickness. I've been thinking a great deal about sickness as we define it. And of course, the four noble truths are often talked about as the way to deal with sickness and it's it's a sickness of the mind but it's looked at as a medical cure which is to establish what the sickness is what the roots of that sickness are how to cure or remove that sickness and the prescription for doing so so we would say that, that what we do as practitioners is we seek for medicine to cure these sicknesses. When Yun Min said that he was talking about the kinds of sicknesses that you might deal with, the kinds of people you might deal with who are blind and deaf and mute and how you would address those but again, the commentary says, don't die in the words. Well, the preceding case, Yun Min is teaching his community and he said, medicine and disease subdue each other. The whole earth is medicine. What is yourself? And again, we're, we're talking about what we do with this sickness, how we overcome this. The Buddha adapted his teachings to the potential of the various followers and to the individual sicknesses they have. And so the teachings can sometimes seem contradictory. I've joked or talked in, in other times about how if you think hard enough, if you work hard enough at it, you can find a sutra to contradict other sutras pretty much universally. 
because we're dealing with individual sicknesses, we're dealing with cures, we're dealing with medicines, and we're doing the best we can with the tools we have at hand. And so again, the commentary on case 87, if you cling to existence, he speaks of non-existence. If you attach to non-existence, he speaks of existence. If you're attached to neither, he manifests the 16 foot golden body for you in a pile of crap and rubbish, appearing and disappearing. Because you can't cling to it. Even when you find the cure, the cure is for this disease. The cure is for this day, this attachment, this aversion, the problem that we have today. Master Sung San said, original nature has no opposites. Speech and words are not necessary. Without thinking, all things are exactly as they are. And the truth is just like this. Then why do we use the words? Most people are very attached to words and speech. So we cure this sickness with word and speech medicine. But we don't die in the words. When the sickness is cured, you don't keep taking that same medicine. Sung San also talked about three kinds of sickness. There is body. That's the most obvious. That's the one everyone's familiar with. Body sickness is what we're used to. It's, it's a cold. It's a flu. It's COVID these days or maybe monkeypox. But in the way that we look at things, this is not necessarily the same as dukkha, suffering, because that's something different. Suffering is what goes on in the mind, the dissatisfactoriness, the imbalance. And so sickness of the mind, that is the sickness created from attachment and aversion from the three poisons. And that sickness of the mind can include those words if we're attached to them. And he goes on with the third kind of sickness, the Dharma sickness. And that's the sickness that's encountered by the student, by the teacher, who thinks they've figured it all out. Who says, I already understand all of this. I have no problem and you must listen to me. That is the sickness of being attached to the words of another cure. The sickness of being attached maybe to something that never was a cure to begin with. So as Yun Min said again, what is yourself? As Sun San said, only don't know. So don't die in the words. <laughs>